Welcome back everyone. I made this video not too long ago about how to fix your Xbox One controller drift, but the audio was really weird, the comments on that were really funny, <laughs> so we're gonna do it again. And the instructions are pretty much the same, but hopefully this is a little bit higher quality, at least the audio. And so pretty much what happens is on almost all controllers that I've ever owned with a joystick, especially since like 2014, all of them for the most part have had some controller drifting issues on the joystick. So whether it's a PS4, Nintendo Switch, or Xbox One, today we're specifically focusing on the Xbox One. A really, really important way and a really easy way to fix this doesn't even require you to take it apart. All it requires you to do is just have access to some isopropyl alcohol. And what this is, and, and I don't even know who made this up or whatever, but basically it's some antiseptic. Basically, if you get like a cut or something like that, you're supposed to pour on it. I have no idea. Don't even listen to me when I say that. Go do your own research. But it's a, basically a bottle that looks like this, which I have on the screen. And I'll go ahead and leave an affiliate link in the description below if you want to go pick some up. I think it's like $5 or something like that. Not that really that big of a deal. And the process is pretty much this. Okay, so what you want to do and get your controller next to you and you want to make sure it's fully off. And you want to see that specific joystick that has the issue. So if your joystick is the left one, okay, put on the left one. But you might want to put on the other one too. You can just soak both of them in. So what you want to do is just get access to a cotton swab, a napkin, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And you want to put a little bit of this liquid on those specific napkin or whatever it is. And once you have a little bit, you don't want it to like dripping off, but you want it, you know, noticeably wet. And you just want to go ahead and kind of rub it around that specific joystick. So you can go ahead and put the joystick on your thumb, kind of move it around and kind of, you know, lather around the sides of the joystick. I don't know how to describe it. And then make sure it's soaked in, but don't make it too wet. You don't want to, you know, douse this thing. If you kind of feel like, just imagine if it was water, you know what I mean? You don't want this thing to have water damage and the same thing can happen with this alcohol. So you just want to go ahead and put a little bit in there, but not too much like I stated. And so at this point, all you want to do is do it on both sides, rub it around the joysticks a little bit until it's fully soaked and it looks good and just let it sit for a while. And after a little while, hopefully you can go ahead and turn on your controller and see that most of the drifting issues have probably gone away. Now, from what I've read and from what I've heard from multiple other people and people who've made the same video, they said that they like to do this every couple of months, but me personally, I haven't had any drifting issues in a while, and I did this a long time ago and it fixed it for me and I never had to do it again. But I will say I did this for a set of Joy-Cons for my Nintendo Switch, and for some reason it worked for like a day and then I ended up not working after that, which is really weird. But that's really pretty much the process. If this doesn't work, you will probably have to go ahead and, you know, get a replace, you know, buy another one, or just go ahead and take this one apart. I don't have a video on that, but I'm sure there's many on YouTube, so if I ever make a video on that, I'll leave a link down below. But that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.